thanks for staying with us. So, we found this story that was very, very interesting. And we thought it was important to have this conversation as an extension of yesterday's conversation on how um, men invest in their wives and they travel abroad, they take them abroad, and the whole story changes. In a somewhat similar story, however, in this one, this man discovered later in their marriage how much his wife actually earned. I mean, the story went viral. Everybody, you need to tell the story. everybody story shares. So let me tell you, if you tell so, the story. So let's tell the story. For those of you who are not very exposed to social media and you're not aware of this story, it, it went really viral. So what happened was that the young lady was using her husband's laptop. So she forgot to shut down and close out of her own um, page. So her husband was now on the laptop and now saw the, her, her um, email. Yeah. When I was, and I called her, yeah, did you use my laptop? She said yes. Um, that, um, but you didn't shut down out of um, the email. Anyway, he now checked the email and saw her, what her pay slip. For the first time, he now saw how much she was really earning. Now, this is a woman that, according to him, collects every single thing, even to her sandwich's house, even, money, even everything from him. He's obviously not earning as much as she is, mm -hmm. but every, the little money she, he has, she collects everything from house chores, the house chores money, um, house upkeep, family, the whole works. Now, so after he now discovered this, he then went on to check her phone, I believe. Mm -hmm. She now saw conversations with the brother, the mm -hmm. father, and now Leila found out there's a land she bought, a house that she's building that is in her father's name, and he has been consistent, she's been consistently giving him money every month for that, uh, for, for that building. And then I think that's, that's the real story. She got a car for her brother? Yeah, Uber. she got a car for her brother who doing Uber work. Mm -hmm. Anyway, she got a lot of lying. So she got then promotions, yes. and she refused to disclose. And he was asked, so what do you earn now? You've recently been promoted. She said, just added like 15 naira to my salary. You know, it's just a 15 naira difference. But she was worth thousands mm. of naira in the currency. It was Ghana cities in the story. Oh, was so, Ghana? I was wondering what I thought was a code. I didn't even know it was Ghana cities. Imagine that. Cities. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> so, um, so the, the, the conversation now is... The woman obviously then found out that her husband discovered that she's built in a house. The man brought, brought the story on social media. He has forgiven her in the sense that they are still living together. He's not divorcing her. He's just knowing that my own is my own, your own is your own. And everything he has slaved to buy for her, he's saying, sell it, give me back my money. You do yours and I'll do mine. That's where they are today. But the conversation now, as I said, is extending from yesterday's um, discussion is that why do some women take this route of hiding their own successes, their own monies, and still taking from their husbands? And why and how do we resolve, if we were to advise this family, how do we help them to resolve it? I'm scared of asking you because I kind of know you. <laughs> I think, oh, no. okay. Let me come to BC. I, I think, uh, first of all, we should start from the beginning. Mm. I like to uh, start handling issues from a point of how did this start? How did it degenerate this far? How did it become this deep? Mm. You know, it's supposed to be love and honesty and trust and conversations and companionship and everything. How come it now got to a point where we now have to start coding and hiding? And, um, you know, so um, I think um, over time, we need to understand what the society has done in the sense that uh, because of the patriarchy that we've always had, and women have seen over the years how their mothers have been treated. Mm -hmm. When anything happens in the relationship and they realize that their mothers always leave without a penny, sometimes just barely the wrappers they have on their body, they can't even go with the children, the society works against them. So the crop of uh, a generation of you know, newer mothers, not even our own generation, no, it started getting from our mothers now decided, okay, let me find a way to protect myself in this relationship. So mm -hmm. instead of giving my all, if anything happens, this man is going to kick me out and I will not get anything at the end of it. Let me, let me save something. Let me hide something. You know, there's a way they used to fold, put money inside a wrapper, yeah. fold it and let me, tuck let me, it let in. Let me, let me do this. this. Because 
a lot of our mothers, many women had this conversation with their daughters mm -hmm. that hide your own thing. Mm -hmm. It's not everything you tell your husband. Mm -hmm. Was that the right advice? Hey, hold on now. Say, I'm, I'm getting there. So you give advice based on the experiences you've had. I can't give you advice based on what I do not know. You give advice based on what you have seen others suffer and you don't want your children to suffer it or what you have suffered. So it's, it's, it's a way of them trying to protect their own children. Now, uh, over the years, women now grew up to know that you're supposed to keep something away. Now, for the men who are now genuine, who are different from the fathers who dealt wickedly with their wives, who are now you know, open to honesty, you know I'm earning something, you know everything I'm earning, we talk, we share, and all that, you now have a woman who is coming from a background of hide, hide. That's what happens. Okay. So, uh, okay. Let me come to you, Maria. See, this has dealt with the history yeah. of where it started. <laughs> but now let's just talk to this couple. And it's unfortunate because I feel that um, totally, she was totally dishonest in her marriage mm -hmm. and it was unfair. And you know what? It's even to the degree in which she did it because a part of me, of course, I'm part of the society. I understand the story of keep a little for yourself just because you just never know how it, how it will pan out. And because of the society that will come where everything is the man's anyways, you have to keep something for yourself. But also, you're supposed to do it with a little more kindness and, mm. you know, and be a little more... Um, Compassionate. You know, compassionate. So this is a man who's working hard, who is um, providing for you. Usually, this sort of advice of keeping away is a woman who has noticed a man who doesn't do much for the mm. house or doesn't do anything. Everything is his name. Mm -hmm. Or when they need something in the house, he does not provide. So a woman mm. has found a way to take care of needs. But this is a woman that just came into this marriage to be dishonest and use up what you know, you, you know, you know, use up everything that the man does, uh, has to provide. Yes, just selfish. Now we have men who are selfish like that, and a woman sorts herself out. But in this case, mm. see, the part that is so sad is to the point where he where he bought you a car. He and you move. paid, you, you said, oh, I saved yeah. some money. And he said he could not even sleep because she kept insisting. She that kept insisting that he you. pays her money, pays her money back, even when he didn't have enough. So this is a woman did, that did not have any care right. or love mm. or anything for that husband. Mm. And but, when they, the point that they mm. are now mm. is a good first step, mm. which is you cause this, and this is the situation you found yourself. Mm. Everything is 50-50. But you know this it. is life. Times change. She, I hope for her sake, will change and understand, <laughs> and they will come to learn to trust each other. Mm -hmm. You know, life. You know, let me come to like you for that. a second because this issue of how we were, how we were before we got into the marriage in the mm -hmm. first place. I remember that marriage raised. counselors would say, no matter what your husband earns. He is the, he's the, he's the man of the house. He must take care Provide. of everything. Mm. So no matter, even if you earn more than him, keep your money. That your money, even if it's 20,000 naira he earns, make sure 2,000 naira from it he gives to you. No matter how small, give your mm. wife something. Mm. With that mentality, you get into marriage. And even though you're earning 100,000 naira and your husband is earning 20,000 naira, you make sure that if from that 20,000 naira, you I drain him. 5,000 naira or at least 10,000 naira from mm. it. So let me be now, is that the right the advice would say today, but is this still, is this still, still right applicable? It's the right advice now. It is. But let me be a woman bef uh, before I be a wife. So let me just understand that advice. <laughs> because women, of course, we were, we were those that uh, less privileged and abuse, uh, you know, gender yeah. for, a, for a, long a long time. time. For most marriages today, it still <laughs> is. So you have to be, let Wise. your man be a man and let him assert his position as well as respons with responsibilities that he carries in the home. So that you don't have a man sitting and saying, I send you go farm. I don't give you pots, uh, pan, everything. So you feed me, feed my children. Some people say, I buy machine for you. Mm. So you I've established you. And 20 profit. years after, you're working salary and paying him. Mm. And carrying the whole responsibility of the house and you cannot cry out. So that's the reality of some women. So mm. let me be that one. But let me be a wife. A wife cannot see the husband bending and burying on that body. And not even extend some form of help. Mm. In this story, ah... Oh, we can't go. Oh, we wish not pass like this. Now, they time wish. Proposal. You understand what she did is extreme. Ah, ah. You know, it's extreme. It's unbearable to understand. And I, I, I would say to men, please be careful. So you don't marry into the circle of mistrust. Mm. I don't know what her past was, but she must have this mistrust for men that the man did not even see at cancelling, pre-marriage, whatever, and he just got married inside. That's the problem for some men. 
you love your wife, you just want to build a family, but she's still hanging on to her mother's experience, mm. and she will say, well, all hey, men I, I, are I, I, the same. Or mm. maybe one auntie's break, experience, all I don't, men I don't, are the same. I don't totally same. agree with you, because I think mm -hmm. this is born out of these advice that we, they tell us. Parents. And I think this mentality is something we need to change. We'll, let them, we'll, we'll, talk, we'll talk about it after the break. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Okay. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. So I'll start with BC because I was trying to respond to what Nima has said, that I totally don't believe that um, the, we cannot absolve our parents, count, marriage counselors, of blaming this kind of situation. Because I have seen a woman, when I, I wasn't there, I wasn't counseled by her, but I saw her in, insisting <laughs> that no matter how much your husband makes, make sure you collect X amount of because it's his role. And the thing is, as, I, as I've grown as a woman, I've realized from listening to a uh, book I wish you could say, listen, it's not the ability to spend or the ability to provide <laughs> is the defining factor that makes your man a husband. He's dead because that's how God created it. So when you have, if you juxtapose that with when women are demanding, no matter how small you have, you must give me 50%. If I don't have the, if, if my 50% is not right now, I can't afford it. Shouldn't the woman understand that situation? Mm -hmm. Must we insist that no matter what, we must collect that? That's the conversation I wanted to have. But let me come that, to BC. That, that is where discretion comes into play. So mm -hmm. you go for a marriage counseling. The counselor would advise you based on her experiences and the experiences of people around okay. her. She won't go outside the box on that. Mm. It's now left for you to understand the situation because everybody is, um, we all have a different peculiar situations. Mm. Our marriages are all different, just the way our personalities are different. So you understand that this, my husband, it's not as if he's cheating on me. It's not as if he's hiding money somewhere. It's not as if I know his paycheck. Mm. Now, if he can be honest enough to show me everything that I earns why do i want to hide something from him and even if i hide why can't i step in the idea for me about hiding is about filling in the gap you are help me so if anything happens and you need to fill in the gap that's mm. where you come in with what you have hidden and remove the shame from your husband's eyes so instead of him going outside to you know borrow money to sort out issues he can borrow from the wife you cover his shame that is the essence of hiding so but in this case i was very upset when i discovered that the father was involved. Mm. The house that she was building was, was in her name. father's name. That's a wicked man. If this man discovered this and realized that even the house that she was building was in our name, do you know that this matter will not be that not painful? Be I know you're hiding something, you know, but I know that it's for the interest of us or in the children's name, your father's name. So you have left your father's that house the into the husband's house, but you're still latching onto your family in that way that you are now investing everything you have mm. in them we without your husband's knowledge. Mm. Exactly. Okay, so in so this we need situation, to be careful. it's clear that there was a lot of wickedness, distrust, in this, in this situation. Ah, but I want us to ah. now address, because these are issues that we can actually... But let me address uh, the advisors, because it's usually all, our yeah. mothers. Yeah. Based on their experiences, they sit in their girl, daughter's marriages, they, the ear in their daughter's marriages, ah, oh, my food, boy, boy, don't tell him everything. It's not mm. everything is to tell man. Mm. It's not everything, ah, tie small, tie small. You know, and you really don't allow your daughter even know the person she married, mm -mm. or even give, it, give them that chance. So that circle of mistrust from your past, you will not be dragging an innocent person to, mm. to the point you destroy. Because what trust is missing ah, in a marriage? That's it. And this is our young we that we do the word love now. <laughs> that we do this kind of uh, Telemundo loving. You know, there are marriages, they had some kind of strength. They, you will see fathers. I know a marriage where there was a mistrust. And that marriage lasted. They are late now. May God may Allah forgive both of them. The, the man didn't forgive his wife for 20 years till she mm. passed. For that mistrust, he wasn't cheating. They just remain married for the sake of the children, who money, Ew. money. God forbid. Not even food removed from her. It wasn't cheating. So for some people, we, for, and for this story, for the purpose of this story, when I read, I was just thinking, mm. this mother is just saying, "Give me time." Some mm. people might take a lifetime mm. Mm. to mm. let it go. So okay, so as so I said, I want they to go to I, counseling, I pack... or they should even divorce respectfully. Hey. I want to pack this issue a bit, and I don't honestly want to talk about it a bit, but I want, because I, I want, we, we, a lot of families are going through this right now, mm -hmm. where women are hiding things. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's one thing to hide. See, now, hiding has levels. You get right? level. Yeah. 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 There's the small yeah. line, yeah. and there's this real, so yeah. let, let me let you come yeah. in here. Get level. So for me, is the intention to, for the hiding. Mm -hmm. um, the, people say, we say for the rainy day, and mm -hmm. sometimes you look at, okay, if I share that I put some money aside, it will be easy to 
dipping to take out of that money. Mm -hmm. So I understand where the intention, you have the intention of the family at heart. Mm -hmm. This, I'm doing this for us. I'm doing this for, you know, when things get tough. Sometimes, you know, um, school fees is late in coming. And you're able to say, you know what, there's this money that I put aside. And the man is happy that you have done that. Mm -hmm. Or the woman is happy that the man actually thought, oh, you mean you actually saved some? Said, yes, because I knew a time like this would come. So if in the end, when everything is revealed, it shows that you were doing this because of us, us. Mm -hmm. not against us the way this seems, which is you're taking care of your father, you're taking care mm -hmm. of your brother, what about me? What about us? So mm -hmm. I'm not important in this relationship. Mm -hmm. And I feel that a woman would know exactly how that feels because women have been on that side of mm, the divide for, for many time. years. I mean, we're saying if it didn't happen to you directly, it may have happened to a friend, you have watched it on TV. So, and we understand it's not about what men do against women. It's that thing, you know, the act itself, that being deceitful, being selfish in marriage mm. is, is so but let me, let me Let me, let me now put up, put up the situation. Mm. So your husband, for example, is earning, he just says, earning 50,000 naira a month. Mm. You as a wife, you're earning 500,000 naira every month. Now, the only reason why you're not telling him because you feel that he um, that he's maybe irresponsible. You feel that maybe he's the kind of person that once he knows he's going to start doing investing in things that you are not in agreement with. Mm -hmm. So you feel that let me put let me only tell him I earn 200,000 naira. Mm -hmm. The 300,000 naira, I am putting it aside. I'm not telling him at all. He's only aware that. So in his mind, you earn 200,000 naira. In that 200,000 naira, he's insisting that, okay, 100,000, let's go and save it and everything. Now, he now finds out that the 500,000 naira, the 300,000 naira you'll be keeping, you're not, keep, you're not keeping it, in this case, you're not using it for your father. Yeah. You're keeping it for families for us, yeah. in future. He's your Do nest you of king. The husband will be happy to find out in five years' time, you've saved. 10 million naira, for example, towards that. Many yeah. men are not happy. They are not. We don't have conversations mm -hmm. here about women who have gone ahead to build or do some projects without the mass knowledge, even though the it's project shows that it's both, you know, it's owned by both of them. The woman went ahead, did this without letting me know. Hmm. I, I don't know if I can trust her anymore. Hmm. So most people do not like that because... So do we advise you to stop that? Yeah, so this ah. one, I'm saying, let me just answer that. that. So if you have a spare street, sorry, Miriam. If you have a spend three phones, man, you know it's a, a spend that. These ones that will go to party, the money that is not in their pocket is what they are spending. Do you understand? And as a woman, you have to be proactive. You'll find solution. And in such a situation, a conversation, if the man is blaming you, someone like me, I will say it to him straight. You know, you can't be doing spend strip, spending money that we don't have, and you not have backup for rainy days. You want my children to sleep outside, or do you don't want them to sleep hungry? I will say to such a man, and you, I, I don't expect him to be in denial of his faults. Mm. So those are the conversation. But in this case, this woman, he, he, the man did everything to prove he was a man. He yeah. provided, he did everything, he even he borrowed from her you. to provide for her. Can you imagine? Yes. There are issues where, there are, there are stories I have heard, there are issues mm. where a man, and the man understands his faults, mm. and he knows that the woman keeps money aside, and he insists to the point of threatening that if that money does not come out, you know, this is the end. I'm so this, this has happened. <laughs> yeah. You know, and the question is, because in this case, so one thing I always say is that for men, they are very, they are very, um, they, are, they know exactly what it is for them is the deal breaker. We have had conversations here as well where a man, where a woman did not pay for her daughter's hospital bill and she died. And the man for him, it was, this is deal -breaker. done. Even though her excuse was that because you just never show up, you never pay for things. Mm. So here is another story of a man who is saying, <laughs> as for me, this marriage is 50-50. But women tend to stay in marriages that they feel that they cannot trust somebody it's and find a way to work it out. Mm. So I don't know if you get, understand what I'm saying. A man mm -hmm. would say, this is a deal breaker. I can't do this anymore. I don't trust you and leave. So the question is, should we advise women when they find themselves in situations like this to stay to work it out? Or like the man say, you know, for me, this is such a serious thing. I can't, I, I, um, we can't coexist. We can't cohabit anymore. Mm. This is the end. Oh, this is interesting. I'd like to open our phone lines. You can call us 091 390 Let's go to break. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. All right, so we're going to be talking about this again. Uh, BC, I want you to come in here because how do we help this couple? I mean, we wanted to pack it, but we need to 
end this conversation with some kind some of an advice. Sort of, yeah. Yes, solution. Please. Yeah, so uh, f for me, I think um, the guy had already started. He's taking the first steps, which is to ensure that uh, you now start paying for things. Uh, you can't just be using me, using my life, using my <laughs> destiny, using my glory. You now have to pay. And um, he's sold, he's planning to sell off the car. The woman said, don't worry, I'll pay you for the car. So he's, he's giving her two months. Oh yeah, pay me back and all of that. So he's taking that first step. But I know that uh, when... No, no, hold on now. Hold on first. Hold on. It's a, it's a process. So the family members had come two times, three times to the house to plead with him. And I know that the pressure will be on him now to quickly forgive but he needs time to process. This is a marriage that has broken down in terms of trust. If you, don't have, if you don't have trust in marriage, you have nothing. Love can fly out of the window, but trust, it's going to take a while for her, for, uh, her to earn his trust again. So he needs that time to process. If he says he needs six months to just run autopilot, they should let him. I, I do not think anybody should put any pressure on him to quickly forgive. You know, you're a church member. You go to church. Jesus said, if you sin seven times, forgive seven times. I don't think that's the time for it. Let him process. He's going through whatever he's going through. Then after he's done processing, they need to see a counselor. They need to have an open conversation. Now, when we hear issues like this, you hear, hey, probably there was a breakdown in communication. That's why this happened. Most times you are communicating, but you're not communicating the right things. Mm. We need to now have a template on how this is going to work. Moving forward, madam, are you going to open your hands? Let me see what you earn. Mm -hmm. I open my hands. Or you still want to be able to have access to your own thing and do okay. your own thing. They need to have that conversation. And if, it's not, if they're not going to stand by what they promised to stand by, mm -hmm. that marriage has already broken down. There's let nothing me, you can do about it. Let me take this it. call from Hassan. Hassan, are you there? Oh, we lost, lost that, that. call. Wow. Oh. So where does the role of forgiveness come in? Because mm -hmm. you're in a marriage. Okay, so your wife goofed. Mm -hmm. She built a house. Not be no, no, no. Goofed. It's a goof. You goof. So either either, error. So either, either goof. by error or by, by um, you, know, you did it uh, intentionally. Uh, because the truth is that whether you know, she was, what she did is informed by something that has been laid in her subconscious. Like, mm -hmm. Okay, this is how you behave. Mm -hmm. So where does the role of forgiveness come? Where is okay, you know what? You did this thing. I forgive you. As long as the woman is willing yeah. To change, to change yeah. and accept responsibility. Yeah. Shouldn't we also preach forgiveness? Yeah, yeah we should. Uh, just give people time. Is important. I mean, mm. I don't know how marriages can work without forgiveness mm. because we're human beings and we goof every day yeah. mm -hmm. and every other day. You know, and we forgive. In fact, sometimes we put the forgiveness ahead for when the goof comes. Mm. Forgiveness jumps the goof <laughs> yes. before we even have that conversation. But this person is definitely hurt. And for me, it shows that um, he's working towards healing mm. and forgiveness because he's saying, okay, this is, what time. We do, this is what we'll do going forward. She had asked, would you divorce me? He says, I will not, but if it's what you are asking for. But you know, you. that is someone that's come from a place of hurt. Forgiveness is important in everything. Mm. So for me, just like you were saying, BC, um, about if he asked for six months and whatever, um, the only part I don't agree with is if he's working towards um, um, forgiveness, he can be having the counseling and the conversation in the six months. I don't even know how Alongside. sometimes you can even give a definite time to when you finally fully mm, forgive someone. Go. Mm. But that, okay, I'm willing from, give me, give me a month or two to you know, to, process. To, to, to be in my feelings, mm -hmm. and then we can now start taking concrete steps towards working, working it out. So, because most marriages, I mean, all, all marriages have to have that as part yeah. of the ingredients. Yeah, for me, children are involved. You can't just yeah, say, oh, we are not. It doesn't matter. Yeah. For me, what the uh, forgiveness is a process, but yeah. one thing is clear whether you want to be in a marriage or you don't want to be is something that you know. You, From the beginning, right? Clear. So don't be in a prison kind of marriage and be punishing mm. the other party for mm. years. Because of forgiveness. This one don't happen. Calculative evil, it don't happen. So you want to Why see... the worst thing about it? The other it depends things. on your deal breaker. Depends, uh, yeah. So <laughs> maybe you, would, you should look at maybe the woman he married. Maybe there was a thing, there must be something that stands out that she must have yeah. done. Or maybe there's a sacrifice that she must have paid. Maybe even the birth of their children that he feels that is too much. You know, for some people that waited and they suffered for, yeah, maybe that's the big deal. Look at whatever is your big deal and determine whether you want to remain with her. Or not. So that you're working through that forgiveness. Mm -hmm. But if you know that it's over. It is over. <laughs> Don't, Don't pretend, though. the woman. This woman, she will pay for this crime. Yeah. This one, she will pay. So she has She's to already paid already. Let me this call from the UK. Good morning, are you there? <laughs> that kind of life. <laughs> Hello? Yeah. Hello, you're live. Go ahead, please. 
listen to the TV. I'll have to disconnect that call. Yes, mm -hmm. so we have to take a few. You can call us on 0891-390-7698. You can also call us on 081-270-53687. Please talk to me when you call, not television. So we have plenty of tweets, but yes. uh, how does this thing even extend to the other room? Because I'm just wondering, yeah. can you be so aggrieved that? Because other room is still healing. Mm. <laughs> he hates this question. He hates this healing. Yes, now yeah. you cannot be. No, but see, when, 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 when you are grieved, <laughs> when you are mm. when you are still brooding over something, you are not other room, the damn hormones <laughs> that cause the other room to start. We're not, not in yeah. We're not. No, no. Sometimes it depends on how deep. The when there's so much anger yeah. in yeah. your you system, you can compartmentalize that over ah. when you are grieved. No, no. Not be saying, I disagree. It's because I love you. It's because I love you. It didn't never pay you. You are debating. Let me talk to you. Enjoy it. Hello, Joy. <laughs> you see, the thing is, we need to learn to take responsibility for our actions. Yes. Does that mean that this woman did not see any marriage in the society to model her marriage after? And then do we take advice to our parents debating? Like, let's be sincere. Our parents give us advice and then we pick what we want to pick. Yeah. And we work with it. This woman was very mean, even to her sanitary part. She was very mean. Even if you earn 5,000 there, I mean, you should be able to get some of those things for yourself. You went as far as getting a cap in, the, in your brother and then get income. I mean, that woman was very mean, very mean. But I like what the husband did. It shows that he still has interest in the marriage mm -hmm. and he wants to keep it. Like, I was telling someone, maybe I would do the same thing. But... The woman was just very mean, and I mean, she, 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 she's getting what she deserves. But I pray they work past that in the marriage. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about the fact that women <laughs> insist on this man or men putting funds apart. You know, there's some times where a man is just trying to start off. I mean, I mean, I remember when my husband was still trying to start his business. And I knew for the first few years of our marriage, yes, I was doing things because that, 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 was, that, was, how, that was the position God gave me at the time. So when he started his business and the, money, the business started making some profit, he was so eager. He wanted to start paying rent, paying school fees. He said, Uncle, calm, calm down. down. Hmm. You're just starting this business. <clears throat> Let me do it for another year at least. Give you time to recoup. Give you time, to time for you to build. No, 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 no. He wanted this cost boom, the cost price. He wanted to go his business. <laughs> said, Uncle, take. So when you study that your husband is still trying to get on your feet, is that a time to demand and insist on collecting because it is your right as a woman to collect. No, 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 that's no, no, how no, no. also address so, that. Yeah, so when we get into a relationship, it's very important that we're not getting in with another person's templates. I saw this guy, I fell in love with him because I saw some attributes that I liked and I knew we could work together. And I see his efforts. I see that he's not a lazy man. He's trying his best. God may have blessed me now, put me in a better position now to, you know, give him like a cushion mm. for his soft landing. That's mm. why we are together. We are working for the same team. We are on the same team. Mm. It's very important that you understand that when you understand that, mm. you can now take decisions, have the mindset that we are in this together so what is the impact of this decision we're taking today in the next five years on our resources on our family on everything that concerns us how does it impact our business how does it impact so two of you are making positive decisions mm. anyhow it happens whether somebody needs to pay more than the other person does it matter mm. is it not work you are working for all of us okay, is it not our money shola. shola are you there yeah. in the uk shola Hello, you're live. Go ahead, please. Okay, can we get that? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so, um, you know, there's something I always say that marriage has to be for adults, mature minds, and not children. Mm -hmm. And truth is, um, we have heard when people come together and sit down, men, women do it, and the woman and the friend says, my husband, he pays for that. You mean you pay for it? Mm. Never. It can never happen in my home. Mm. Mm. Yes, I, can never yeah. I cannot take it. How I can't take it. I can't you take mean, it. Be, you, mean you, you, you mean you are the one that pays for it? I can't take it. I can't take it. Meanwhile, uncle is doing so many other mm. things, but that DSTV that your friend does not pay for in her mm. house, you have to add it to the list. Mm. So you need to be you need to be sure of who mm. you are. You need to be mature and understand yourself and love yourself and recognize as if someone says, you know, take responsibility for things. You sit down with someone, um, with your husband, and you understand what works for your home. Your friends coming left, right, and center. It's not your business. And I'm not talking of only girls, because it happens to men. 
-hmm. So a man is used to giving mm -hmm. his wife a certain amount oh, of money as allowance. Mm -hmm. And the man says, you give her that that's amount of money. That's too much. Mm -hmm. What? You give her a house, you give her a car, you're paying fees, and you're still giving her money. Yeah, and then the man to you, now you. stops to do that. But this was something that gave him joy. Mm -hmm. So we need to be careful Let me take Hassan. Listen to. Hassan, are you there? Thanks <laughs> for calling. <clears throat> Hassan, are you there? Good, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Mr. Hassan. Go ahead. Look, this matter, um, we men are very much conscious of the fact that women have this notion of your money is our money. <laughs> my money is, is my money. <laughs> and we not take it down. You understand? <laughs> it was an imbued into the consciousness of our women in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. The scenario you are bringing about of the women in Ghana is different. In their own spheres over there, it's in their own clan, it's a different thing. Mm -hmm. Women complement men. Mm -hmm. And in very few societies, in the middle part of Nigeria and other night, mm -hmm. very few in some tribal groups, Women complement men, but it's not a general thing in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So for you to think as a man, to be a leader in your house, you must be ready to shoulder all the responsibility. I must, uh, you must have noted it down that your money is her money, and her money her is money. her money. So try to, you know, Try to benefit everything, to think that this and that, no. Because immediately a man could not be able to put money or to put food on the table in his house. I'm telling you, his leadership, he will find out that his leadership is seriously threatened. Thank you, Mr. Hassan. So, so I think it's part of the mentality that is causing this problem. Yes. Yes. Can I ask Mr. Hassan something? So, Normally, we would hear that men enjoy to do things for the women. We are meant to be the protector mm. and the hunter, and that if you do not allow Provider. a man pay for yeah. the bills, mm. he will look for someone else that, that he, he will provide for. for. So maybe a woman does that because she knows that that's another way to make sure her mm. husband is on his toes at home. Mm. So, is he is there? Is this, uh, I was hoping. He lost okay. Oh, okay. I wanted to say, uh, because I'm paying daily for this, my own, our own. The principal, I'm paying dead. My husband feels I'm insecure about money, so he doesn't take money from me. Ewo. Yes, he doesn't. Mm -mm. It's your money. Even when I'm offering, take your money. And even if I do buy something, I get my money back. Wow. I just get my Alaska cam money for this back. So I'm paying daily for that stand. I, and I still believe in the stand, but I believe I can wave, wave it whenever I like. Now, there's nothing wrong for a woman to keep something aside for herself. It's the disclosure that is the problem. So now what I have mastered in this, our 12 years is that when I am putting aside this, you know where I'm putting it. So I have a, this, I'm doing, he knows uh, Nima is doing this every month. I'm doing a job. I even have community I job I co contribute with women. He knows what's happening as I'm going at, I'm going for a job. I disclose where I'm putting all the money. Yeah. So, I, so I, can, I can at least justify where I'm bringing money from whenever I have to bring it. Mm. Because I'm uh, married to someone who thinks even the car that I am driving, he has to do, fix it Buy for me. Feel. So when I'm there, I have money. Maybe you know I have like five plugs that I have to take from. So... But in my own marriage, they don't even honor me by mm. taking it mm. without... Uh, Let me take this call from Hadiza. Hadiza, are you there? Hadiza from Abuja, are you there? Thanks for calling. <coughs> I think these are phone lines. Mm. Hello? That has a problem. Hadiza. Just, okay. No, no. I, I almost... Let, let me come to myself because I almost fell into this trap, you know, some years ago. I think on the show we're talking about, you know, men should do this, men should do that. And then, you know, <laughs> you know, I know, so in my, in my own home, for example, my husband does all the heavy lifting. Mm. The um, rent, the school fees, major. the generator issues, petrol, you know, all those stuff. The only thing that I handle is food. Mm. That's my own. And then maybe cable. That's it. And, you know, so after I think one of the shows we had, and we're talking about, ah, men must at least give something to the women. <laughs> So I went home, I said, okay, bros, um, so for food, for food, at least, give me something for food. At least, you know, the food that you're eating, like, give me something. And I was looking like, ah, when did this one food? start? I thought we already had an agreement. I'm doing, you are the one handling food. I am handling every other thing. But I just thought, hey, well, at least, because it is you that I'm giving, I'm eating the food now, mm. give me something. And he, he, didn't, he didn't object. He went back to think about it. It took about a week or so. And I said, okay, how much should I be giving you? 
I now felt bad that my That's, you. Mm. That's, it. That's mm. wickedness. Mm. No, after Somebody everything doing he's all doing. Big stuff, and you still want to still collect. The man yeah. is trying to go the way and build the business. Yeah. So is that compassion, the empathy mm. that women must mm. begin to play? Yes, you are asking for these things, but is it the right thing to ask? Is it the right time to mm. ask? Mm. Mm. Yes, yeah, it will be perfect mm. for the man to do everything for us. But mm. in some cases, so my sister-in-law gave me a golden advice. Upon every increase, ask for a lift, a, 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 an increase on your own part. Yeah. Upon every uh, increase, yes. salary. Uh, uh, so upon the promotion, an increase, uh, extra <coughs> business, extra earnings, mm. uplift yourself. Mm. And she said to me, make sure you get something for yourself every time. So even if I'm pregnant and I'm off work, I get a salary. Based on that advice, and it's worked good in, we talked about it. But I've, I'm now seeing that, that um, impression. Like, I'm insecure. You see me, I can't even drag money. If you're owing me money and you want to pay, thank you. If you don't want to pay it, I'll just lock you off in my mind that I will never relieve mm. you mm. financially. Mm. But I'm most insecure about money. Mm. But that's the impression I have. You I have think created my husband has for you. Let me take Ahmed and I'll come to you. Let's prepare a few tweets, please. <coughs> Ahmed, are you there from Abuja? Oh, I hope we can. Ahmed. We really want to hear from our viewers today. Mm. Ahmed, yes. are you there? Tweets, let's just take one second. I'm not sure what's wrong with our phone. Like, Hassan got through, though. Yeah, we have Ocha Ochaya yeah. says, um, mm. I've heard women in office telling each other to have a separate hidden account from their husbands mm. if they are wise. Mm. Most times they are married to men who do not want to keep up their rules as husbands. But in this case, this woman is just a foolish woman. <laughs> Rolake said, um, what she did is wrong, but how many children can tell their parents how much they earn? Mm. When we earn little, we speak up. But when we earn much, we keep quiet. Even yeah. Nigerian politicians yes. never disclose their salaries. <laughs> Adorable says, the father was wrong in supporting <laughs> Saying her daughter hides such important project from her husband. There is no amount of apology that will make the husband trust either the wife or father-in-law. Like Their plan for the daughter to build in her father's name and later the man turned back to her. Mm -hmm. yeah, I like this one. Billy Kiss Mafia says, if there's trust, her husband will not be in the way of her building a home for her parents. Yeah. So let's be transparent about it. That shouldn't be a secret. As a matter of fact, they could brainstorm we together to on ideas. Yeah, and plan page. together. So the disclose final, final words on so, this. We have okay. to run up on this. Okay, I, I wanted us to take a lot of tweets. We had yeah, more. Go ahead, go ahead, okay, Bidex FD says, I always like your view on... Okay, to Miriam, I always like your view. You are not biased with mm -hmm. hatred. Some people have for men, and they never see anything good in men. But some women don't know if they want to be a leader. You must first serve the current leader right. Vera says some human beings are just too wicked. A man's <laughs> wife and her father are okay in this Let me story. Pause you for a second. I have Henry. Henry, are you there? Hopefully, we can hear. Henry. Uh, Bill Kiss says it's shameful. Some parents do these things and it calls for concern. Mm -hmm. Guys, please know the families you're marrying into oh, and their mm -hmm. values. For those who are already in it, be wise, keep your eyes open, and don't be a pawn on their chessboard. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I do know gay says it's such uh, the Institute of Marriage is questioned here. Do we marry for childbearing or companionship? Okay, we have to wrap up, but I want to ask this question. Are we, are we agreeing with certain layers of hiding or keeping money aside? Are we saying don't keep money aside? Keep money all. aside, but keep don't money hide. Aside, yeah. okay? So you keep, keep money, money aside. aside. You can have your insurance. You can have disclosure. all of that for yourself. You can do an education insurance for your children and tell your husband, I did it for my children. Even though, and maybe eventually when he joins you, he can join to contribute to it. But Just make sure. sure. All right. You okay, okay, so, so, okay, so there are two parts. I think Henry is back. Let me because talk the secret Henry. accounts might Hello? be counterproductive. Henry, are you there? Henry, are you there? Yeah, so I think there are two parts. Let's not um, mix Henry, it up. Henry, are you up. there? Talk to me, please. Hello, Henry. Yeah, if you have a man who is not responsible, who when he finds out you have hidden something, he will dig his hand till he finishes it, mm. he will exhaust it, he will drink with it, he will womanize with it, or a woman both ways, mm. then it is important that you protect yourself and protect your children. children. So I'm not going to blanketly say, do not hide. Mm -hmm. There are some men that once they notice you have hidden, we will drain it, mm. and we, all of us will be shining eye for when the rainy day comes. Mm -hmm. So we so need to apply wisdom. apply wisdom. So you understand your peculiar situation and mm. apply that women. wisdom. Save there are men who, and now I also want to, um, you know, I don't know how to reach out to women to become a little more bolder. Mm. So some women are in relationships where they cannot have a conversation. They cannot challenge mm. the status quo. They cannot talk to their husband to say, I've done, like you are saying now, I've done insurance for our children. You will pack out of that house immediately. You can't have that conversation. So, what's, what's so if a woman is in that situation, 
And she knows that she cannot boldly open her mouth to say because of the kind of man she is married to. It's important that you protect you know, yourself. You Let's not assume that every woman is like us is that can look at the husband and say, I've done insurance yes. for Kosi. I've done this one for Kamdi. I've done that one for you this one. That's how it's going to be. It doesn't work that way. I, learned. I think my mother told me this story. A woman actually did exactly what she did. She didn't have the confidence mm. to speak to her husband. But she was making money. She was a woman. She was in the market making money. What she did, she got a company to like a, a trust fund for it's her children. Trust, right? And they, she kept that trust for her children. Was at the, was, it, was at her barrier point hmm. where the lawyer came in and said, your mother left ABC for you. For the children. The children were shocked. The father was shocked. To her. Because the man wasn't really doing much. Mm -hmm. And they were just... So and she was doing all the work in the, the market. So, at the same time, you know your story. Know your story. Yeah. Before you can start hiding. Yeah. Also help me and say, I know sometimes when we have these conversations, we forget that there are different culture, cultures. There are some culture where the man marries a few wives mm. and he takes care of their needs. Some of these women are, are not allowed to go out and work mm. like that per se. They don't leave the house. Mm. You know, whatever they get is from what he brings mm -hmm. home. Mm. So you find those kind of places, the advice is, no matter, Takes more. yes, he gives you an allowance the for the week mm. or for the month. You Take that little, something. put it inside your asusu, your kolo. kolo. Yeah, put it there. Or they do the regular women come Collection together, weekly. put money together, mm -hmm. so that then you're able to buy something for yourself or invest in, nice in something. You know, right, but, but let me, let let me quickly inform yeah. on, on you having such investments and not disclosing. Anybody can betray you, your lawyer, your bankers. Mm. If you do have any of such arrangements, make sure you disclose to someone. Somebody. Let the contract, the documents of such, be so neat that even the disclosure to someone will not affect you. So even if your husband knows, he can access until your children are of a certain mm. age. Mm. But your lawyer should not be the only one knowing. If he's not trustworthy, mm. we've if seen these things. So, yeah, and banks, with the money. banks are riding yeah, on a lot yes. of secret yes. accounts yes. that they have yeah. not disclosed. So don't be... We are bringing up another... No, don't <laughs> verse. I just had to say. Let's so let's not just leave the advice on you. Are we coming back? Is this mother? We are rushing us.